everyone. Welcome to our home. This is our old toaster oven. It's a Europro convection. It's not an air fryer. We have a separate air fryer. But as you can see, the capacity is much bigger than this one. So I'll open both so you can see and just pan from one to the other and then back up. Excellent, Keen. Hey guys, so we are going to cook something else in our new Cuisinart toaster oven air fryer. And it is what, Keen? Chicken nuggets dinosaur style. <laughs> I know you guys probably know this. Um, quick and easy for us. And so we're going to show you how we do it and then how we set the, the functions to cook it fast. All right, Keen is going to spread them out on this rack that came with it. And also under the rack is a tray, so a drip tray just in case, but obviously this is not gonna have oil coming off of it or anything. Perfect, Keen. So we have five chicken nuggets spread apart. And if you want them to be extra, extra crispy, which is totally optional, you can put spray a little oil um, on it, like a Pam spray. Now there's two positions here, so I'm gonna use the bottom position. Close it up. All right, so we've got the chicken nuggets in the oven, and we're just gonna press air fry, and then air fry again. We've got different preset options here, and of course nuggets happens to be one of them. So you're just gonna turn the dial till you see nuggets. And the preset for nuggets is 400 degrees and 10 minutes, but I wanna adjust that. So I'm gonna, you, when you click this, it'll hit the temperature. You can adjust it up or down, but we're gonna keep it at 400. And then you can push it again and it will jump to the time. And this is where you can adjust the time as well. We're gonna move it down to eight minutes. Nine, not seven eight. eight and then this is blinking to kind of signal for you to start and that's what we're gonna do and there it goes so if you want to check on it I love this handy dandy light turn off 
turned on and it auto turns off. So we will see you in eight minutes and let's see how this turns out. If you like it super crispy on both sides, we can um, flip them halfway. So at the four minute mark. I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, so we are at three minutes, guys, with the chicken nuggets. I'm gonna open it up for a minute and you can see it's already super golden brown and crispy. This one's even a little bit too brown on the ends. Let me flip them over. And they are a little soft in the middle, but I honestly, I don't think I needed to do this and it might be close to the time. So I'm still adjusting um, what I think for each of the foods I typically cook um, with this new air fryer. So what I'm gonna recommend is probably 400, six minutes, flip at the three mark, and they should probably come out perfect. Of course, my son likes them a little crispy, but a little soft, so it's just, um, and once you close the door, it just kickstarts all over again. So it'll start taking off from that three minute mark. And because I know they're almost done, I'm just gonna dial it back. And you can easily do this with um, by turning the knob. So even when it's running, you can turn the knob. It's so great, I love this new one. Let's see how they come out in a couple minutes. Alrighty, so it beeped a very short three beeps and it's ready to go. Let's check them out. They are perfect. And crispy, look at that, no oil. Oh, that tail is a little burnt. <laughs> so definitely get to know your air fryer toaster oven. Um, this, the instruction said for a pound, it's 10 minutes. So in my old air fryer though, 408 minutes was perfect. And this one is obviously more powerful, so like I said, just do the 400 or even the lower temperature and then maybe six minutes. Um, but again, to your liking. So these are super crispy all around. Yum, they're gonna be so good. These dino nuggets are so cute. Okay, let's cook something else. Hey guys, we are back. So we are on to our next dish which is spaghetti squash I have only eaten this once but I'm gonna try to cook this in this oven so this is a Cuisinart but it's a toaster oven it was to replace our old toaster oven but it also bakes and it also air fries so it's a combo kind of small appliance and I love that it has this display very easy to control and so I've already preset everything, but basically you would push this button. And then as you can see, lots of functions here. This isn't the air fryer. We're gonna do a bake, okay? So the air fryer, you would push it again like that. Oh, well, it's already activating. So anyways, it's on bake. You then you set your temperature. You can toggle by pushing this button. And so bake. And then we're gonna go at 400. I think it's actually the recipe is 350. So I'm gonna do 350. And it's for like 40 to 60 minutes. So we'll start it at 40. You can always adjust this in during the baking process or after. And then I'm gonna preheat. So I'm gonna just gonna press start. And let that go while I prep the spaghetti squash. Okay, it's just been about I would say five minutes and maybe less. And that ready just popped up and a little beep went. So I guess it's ready for me to put that spaghetti squash in. Oh my goodness. If you guys have ever cut a spaghetti squash, I don't even remember how hard this was, but um, I cut off both the top and bottom ends with a cleaver. And now I've got it in the middle, it's secure and <laughs> slice it all the way through. So the oven is ready for me, but I'm not quite ready to um, for the food. Okay, so the spaghetti squash was done at about 30 minutes, um, 35 minutes actually. It was starting to um, burn in bubbles. So again, love the big panel over here where you can see everything that's going on. 
and then um, it just auto shuts off once you press stop. So you just gotta make sure you do that. And look at this delicious spaghetti squash. Here are the cookies. They are a little darker than I wanted them. I put them for 13 minutes, 350, but we like them really soft, so I probably would have just gotten away with eight minutes or 10 minutes. What do you think, Keen? Does this smell good, first of all? Yeah, but everything really tastes good in the new air fryer, but it's a good cookies. <laughs> well, you haven't tasted them yet. I taste them well already, and they, they look Go oh, take a take a taste. Go ahead. Yeah, just don't, don't touch the metal part. Keen and I made these cookies a long time ago, and we just froze them, like scooped them up, froze them individually, and then you can bake them up as you want them. What do you think? Still good, right? I told ya. What do you think? Tastes like burnt dough. <laughs> and there's some honest feedback. These do look a little burnt. I put them in for way too long. So, yeah, this, like he said though, everything that I make him in the air fryer has turned out so good. Like, honestly, for 150 bucks, I think is what we got it for, to replace our old one, it has, oh, it's just like my new favorite appliance to use. It replaced the air fryer and it replaced the toaster oven and it toasts bread like slices really fast whereas our old toaster oven always took a while. So um, here's the basket after many uses. Still looks pretty decent and then the tray that came with it to toast bread and there's all these instructions um, very easy to understand and we just love it. And then um, there's a little crumb tray here with lots of crumbs, hot, um, that you can pull out and I like to just wipe it down into the trash with a towel. And then, and then over here, there's like a little insert that comes with it that has some cheat sheet instructions, but honestly, it's so, the functions are so simple to use, you won't need this. I'm gonna put that in. Your tongue is burning. <laughs> No cookies for you then, Keen. So yeah, I hope this inspires you to take a look at this if you're looking for a replacement all-in-one air fryer, toaster, oven, broiler. It kind of does everything and it's really powerful. So um, what I'm learning is I need to go less minutes than I normally would in the big oven um, or, if I, or what I normally would have done in the air fryer. So... Definitely keep those into, um, take those into consideration. But other than that, everything is super easy to use here. I haven't used the dehydrating function yet, but um, when I find something to dehydrate, we will. And yeah, these buttons are really fun to click and stuff. So this is the Cuisinart, um, and it was worth every single penny. Oh, there's 425 too. Okay, so I'm going to go to 8, and then you can press start. Okay. Okay. And then the symbol goes on, so it's it's going. <laughs> we don't want the dehydrate on. Okay, so press start again, Keen. Thank you.